Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to Icarus. So check this out, guys. I finally figured out, um, you guys told me in the comment section, thank you very much for that, that in order to do an inside, an inverted corner, I did need the stone corner, roof corner. Now, the reason I didn't do this on camera was because it was really slow and just arduous, and I just, <laughs> it wasn't fun for me to do. It probably wouldn't have been fun for you to watch, but I did figure it out, so now I've got this corner going in like this. The only thing I like about these corners is there's only this one texture. I couldn't figure out how to do the other stone texture. So I'm going to have to replace all my roofs to make this match up. Um, I also was told that you can water your crops. If you put your canteen in your hand and right click, you can water your crops. And that is awesome. Uh, I have been putting my carrots down here because they won't spoil, which is just phenomenal. And I am still working on the carrots. We're going to get some corn going today as well. I do have a mission that wants me to collect... 35 stone. I think I can, I think I can swing that. I have been, I have been uh, doing some off-camera work, mainly mining and organizing. So I got all this stuff in here, right? And then I've got all this stuff in here, and in here, and in here, and in here. Wood has been awesome, guys. I got this talent. I know I'm all over the place, but I did a lot of stuff uh, before the video, so I'm just trying to catch you guys up. I got this talent that makes wood automatically gather from chopping trees, and it is phenomenal. It is absolutely phenomenal. So let's go ahead and do this quest. Oh, where is the thing? Oh, it's on the other side. Okay, fair enough. Um, close my door so animals don't run through my base. I'm very happy with the way that um, top part came out, so uh, that's going to be pretty cool. Although it's going to come down eventually because I'm going to do something different with it, but that's okay. It's good enough for now, and we'll just keep it like that. For the time being, although once that this base is going to go up another level, so once I do that, that thing gets negated, but that's okay. Uh, I'm really happy to it came out. It gave me a lot of building experience, which is cool. I, I've also been going from quest to quest. Uh, I haven't been doing the quests. I usually don't like the ones that, that they want me to do, uh, you know, because here's the thing. When we go out and kill a crazed creature, you know, I don't think the rewards are worth dying for. The, the amount of experience that you get for dying is astronomical. Um, so... I just don't want to die. So that's what... Wait. Did that count? Wait, where'd that go? Huh. I guess I better give it 30 exactly. Or at least more than 30. Oh, it counts. Okay, good. It counted. 35. Okay. Fair enough. There you go, buddy. Give me my reward. So yeah, the, the, the crazed creature quests don't seem to really give enough rewards to make the death worth it. I'll probably do some more of them just because they're fun. But yeah, um, not in love with the rewards for that. Okay, so we got spears, which I don't do. We've got stealth, leather, fiber. Oh god, ghillie chest don't care. Um, technology advancement for knives, attack speed attachment, prime meat attachment. All right, we're going to go with that. We'll grant butcher one 20% uh, yield from butchering animals. 5% chance additional. Oh, okay, cool. And melee speed. Alright, you know, not insane rewards, but still pretty good, especially for what I did for them. You know? Yeah, the crazed creature. I, I I actually took a quest for a crazed creature while I was, like, preparing for the episode. And it started out here. It wandered almost up to my base. I don't mind fighting them at my base, though. I'm actually okay with that. It's kind of weird that that went away on its own. Um, I'm actually okay with it wandering up to my base. And it, But the problem is it was a bear. <laughs> so I just deleted that quest. I didn't want to. I didn't want to tangle with it. Uh, I guess maybe I could have dropped in the river, but I decided not to. All right, what do we got here? Easy hidden cash. Let's do that one. All right, we got. Well, we can't get that now because we got a storm, but we will get it in, once the storm is over. Here we are at the hidden cash, and I have just been killing a lot of wolves. I'm honestly not just. I'm not interested in grabbing the cash and getting the hell out of here. Uh, so much as I do want to kill the wolves as well. They give they give a really lot of experience, man. Um, I've already killed a few over here. I don't even know how close I am to. Yeah, I'm, I'm by the cache. Okay, that's what I thought. Because as soon as I got in this area, I wasn't sure how close I was to the cache. But as soon as I got in this area, I started getting waylaid by wolves and pretty high level wolves at that. So that is awesome. And that's uh, that's where it's at, man. It's all about the experience. The last cache I got, the experience for the cache itself was six six thousand. All right. And that doesn't even include all the wolves that came around, which is awesome. The cache itself wasn't that great. It didn't give me anything like that was really that good at all, to be honest. 
It was more about the experience. I'm already level 28, so. Um, I can't tell what that is. Bunch of deer. Uh, that's a wolf. A dead wolf. And that's another wolf. I can't tell where he is. Oh, on the run! Wow. I always, f I always feel like if I shoot stuff on the run, I'm wasting an arrow because I never hit what I'm aiming at. So that, <laughs> that makes me very happy that I got that guy. All the auto-aim in the world can't save me from missing stuff on the run. I'll tell you. Alright, where's the other guy? You might be wondering why I'm going out of my way to harvest these guys. 900 experience, that's why. Although, I did do some mining before the episode, and man, you get a lot of experience mining at the uh, the higher levels. I mean, I'm not high level, but... I mean, I'm, I'm 28 is pretty decent. Mid-level. Let's just call it mid-level. Oh, oh, it's all the way over there. Oh, uh, that's a deer. Uh, I don't see anything else in the area. Oh, that's a big chest, man. All right, we're going to have to throw some stuff out. Stone. Um, I kind of want to throw out meat. Uh, I don't really want to throw anything out, to be honest. All right, I'll throw out some meat. The hell of it. Stack that. Why is stuff not stacking? Oh, my goodness. Okay. Wait, did I actually loot all that? I didn't think so. I was going to say, no way. Throw that out. Throw that out. What did I just loot? I don't freaking know. Let's get home. <laughs> look at it when I get home. I'll look at it in the safety of my own home. And look at that. I've actually got a marker at my map now. So the marker at my map doesn't show up on my compass? What the hell is that? Alright, well. It's okay. I guess I really don't need it, but I was hoping it would show up on my compass. We're going to go ahead and take a closer look at those quest rewards. Alright, so we got some pistol rounds. Some aluminum arrows. Some steel arrows. And some gunpowder. You know. Not too great, not too bad. Uh, let's go up and check the crops, and then we're going to have to go out and get some silica. What do we got up here? How are we doing up here? Okay, yeah, plenty of time. Plenty of time. We're going to get some... I'm going to wait until those are finished before I do the uh, the carrot, uh, the corn. Why do I have a problem distinguishing carrots from corn? They're two totally different things. What, just because they start with C? I don't know what the hell's wrong with me. All right, so where would be some silica? So we probably have something pretty close to us, because I have not been really mining anything around me. Platinum, here we go. Why do we need silica? You'll find out, guys. You'll find out. Be patient. Be patient. Beautiful. I always end up mining too much. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Well, I did get some uh, silicon. Decent amount of silicon. It's called silica. I'm going to call it silicon. I don't know why. I just want to. Uh, and I also got some sulfur we're going to put in there. And I'm going to now spec into the biofuel composter. And we're also going to spec into the biofuel can. So we're going to start making some biofuel, man. Start getting into some, a little bit of dabbling. Just a little dabbling into uh, electricity. I'm going to put all this stuff in here. What else am I missing? The tree sap. Okay, so we got some tree sap there. And I think we're going to need 12 of these for it. Let me take a look. Yep, 12 cement. Shouldn't be a problem. There we go. Also, can I put water in here to move this, a little, move this along a little bit quicker? I don't think I can. Somebody said you could put water. Can I put it in there? No. <laughs> it chopped on the table. That's freaking cool. There might be a way to put water in there. I don't know about, but maybe not. Not really con overly concerned about it. Let's talk about talents really quick. I don't know where to put my talents anymore. I put a point into the uh, logsman. Wood is automatically gathered from chopping trees. It's phenomenal. And I think I'm just about done in that tree. I'm not really sure if I should do some other kind of tree or maybe go with some of the encumbrance stuff. That might be pretty cool, so we'll see. Um, and we already spec'd into that, which is great. And what else are we going to need for this? We're going to need copper, iron, and steel screws. All right, so copper. Mm -hmm. Some copper in here, probably. Yeah, there we go. Uh, what bench do I It's got to be in this one, right? Oh, the biofuel can? All right, let's go ahead and make a biofuel can. And do we have steel screws left? We do. All right, cool. Very good. Um, biofuel composter. We need the concrete and more. Okay, that's it. We're just waiting for the concrete at this point, which is phenomenal. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and just put that in there. All right, just waiting for the concrete. Waiting for the concrete. I'm also going to start this thing up again. So let's grab some more wood. That's not where the wood is. I had to, like, like put it down in another container. Because this container couldn't hold all the wood sticks and um, fiber I was getting. Because I'm getting so much. And we don't want to put a lot of wood in there. I'm thinking, like, 12. Right? Sure. Why not? I don't want to waste wood in there. Cool. How long does this take? Oh, it's almost done. Beautiful. I love it. Wait. Yep. Two seconds. There we go. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Biofuel container or biofuel comp... Biofuel composter? Yes, that's it. I'll get there. And we'll put this right here. Ah, you son of a bitch. I don't like the way you could rotate in this game. Um, I wish you could rotate in a different way, because I always end up rotating by mistake when I try and put stuff down. There we go. All right. So we can do meat and tree sap, fiber and tree sap, wood and tree sap, meat and tree sap, or sticks and tree sap. Well, I think I found something to do with all my meat. Uh, did I? Actually, I think I already did something with all my meat. Yeah, I turned it all into animal fat. Just out here killing everything in sight and a storm hit. And I should be able to get home in time. I prefer not to get struck by lightning. That would be awesome. So <laughs> we're just going to kind of head. Oh, there we are. There we are. Home sweet home. Somebody told me the comments trees do grow back. I'm starting to think they might be right because there's a tree right there. I'm pretty sure I cleared out all the trees over here. So I'm not really sure, but I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility. What I want to do now is I want to make some biofuel. And I'm just going to use wood. So when I uh, in Discord told me, you just use wood. I was like, no, I want to use meat. But it takes like two meat per. So. Uh, now, do you just put these in here? Uh, meat and tree sap. An, act, uh, an active water connection will speed up the process. Okay. So nothing is happening. The reason it wasn't working is because you need a fuel container in there. So there we go. We've got a biofuel container in there. Uh, did it fill up perfectly? Is five uh, kilograms perfect? I don't know. I don't think so. Here, let's see what happens here. Okay, so it's still filling up a little bit. I'm curious on what's going to happen when this is filled up, but I still have material in here. I don't want it to go to waste. You know what I mean? So we'll have to play around with that later. I kind of wish the biofuel container had like a... um an actual number on it. I know it's got that little green thing showing how full it is, but I don't know. A number would be better. Let's go ahead and drink. My carrots were done, so I went ahead and grabbed some corn, and the reason I wanted to wait for the carrots to be done, I just wanted the corn and the carrots to be grown at the same time. I don't even know if they'll take the same amount of time, but I wanted... Oh. That's weird. Oh, so these are already going. So that's interesting. So I did plant... The, I did replant these, right? Um, and then I took all the seeds out. I thought, I thought taking the carrots out would stop it, but eh, whatever doesn't matter there we go so that's good with the carrots that's good with these carrots and then we'll put half the corn in there and half the corn in there and then we'll go ahead and water all these things um zero water 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 and i think if it rains they get watered as well but i'm not gonna you know count on the rain cool let's go see what kind of mission we got now I'd like to do another mission, kind of break this up a little bit. Um, find some ores. Okay, easy. Please be stone. Please be stone. Please be stone. Uh, sulfur, huh? Twenty-one sulfur. You think? Probably not worth it, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna do it anyway. Let's, let's see what we get for it. I think, I, I think giving away anything but stone is a mistake, because the stuff does not respawn. So, we'll see. Now, what happens if I give it too much? I guess it, you can't give it too much. Cool. I guess you gotta take it out in time, though. Because you see how I grabbed that out in time? Alright, let's see what we get for a reward here. See if this is worth it. Okay. Uh, decorations? No. Herbalism? No. Lumberjack haul? No. <laughs> okay. None of those were worth it, but I'll take the lumberjack haul. Oh, there you go. 
Don't give up anything but stone. The next thing we're going to make is going to be an ore extractor, a biofuel deep mining drill. Okay. We're going to need electronics for it. I've already specced into electronics down here. Um, we need, yeah, we need organic resin. That's the first thing we're going to need. Um, so we're going to go ahead and put some of that in there. And we're also going to need some wood. So let me go ahead and grab some wood over here and let's make, I think we need 20 of this. Also, uh, stuff will not be used up in here if there's nowhere for it to go, which is great. Thank you for that game. All right. So we're going to need 20, I think. I'm pretty sure. All right, so let's see what else. Uh, 20, yeah, because we need 10 of these. Um, ooh, refined gold. Have I not been refining gold? Because I don't remember seeing refined gold. In oh, there it is. All right, so how much refined gold do I need? 10, beautiful. Copper won't be a problem. I don't think the epoxy will be a problem either. Copper, I've got some epoxy around here somewhere. I don't remember where I saw it. There it is. And this would probably be made in this if I had to guess. We have everything we need now. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a biofuel deep mining drill. Awesome. And I just slept through the night too, which will be cool. Let's just go ahead and throw some stuff in here. Um, I can't really leave yet because I need to wait. Well, I can leave now. Um, I was basically cooking steel bloom, but we could just deactivate this for now. Oh, man, I want to get out there and plant this. Or plant? <laughs> plant it? No, I'm not going to plant it. I'm going to get out there and put it in a deep mining ore spot. I think I know where there's an iron one in the cave that's closest to me. So let's just come up here and take a look at this. Ah, uh, yeah, we probably shouldn't leave this stuff. Oh, uh, why is this one going so fast? <laughs> why is it going so much faster than all the others? You know what? The hell with it. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm gonna go. It's not like it's gonna go bad instantly. It's just you know it'll go bad pretty soon after that. Let's go ahead and drink. I was also refreshing this. So we go ahead and take this. Is sulfur something I can mine for? A deep mining like setup? Are there any deep ore deposits for sulfur? Because I want to use guns, but sulfur is a finite resource. A pretty finite resource. I mean, there's a good amount of it around, but it won't last forever. So I'm kind of wondering if because you need, you need sulfur to make gunpowder. So I'm kind of wondering if it's worth it. I don't know. If there's a if there's a deep mining deposit, you know, a deep mine deposit, something I could, you know, just keep feeding biofuel to get. Maybe it'll be worth it, but I'm not really sure. Let's take a look. Yeah, we should be right about up here. Still have trouble finding these caves sometimes. Alright, there's our light. And come on. And you. Alright, cool. Get my arrows back. Did I leave anything in here? Oh, wow. Okay. A lot of copper. Oh, a lot of gold. Okay. Well, there you go. Weather event. I don't give a crap. Alright, they're going to pop up any second now. There we go. Cool, cool. Where's the other ones? There it is, right there. Iron deposit. Beautiful. I'm really glad there's one so close to my base. That is phenomenal. Oh, no time like the present. Six. Uh, there we go. Okay, what does it say? A uh, biofuel power drill capable of mining uh, ore trap deep beneath, deep beneath the surface. Activate. Okay. And we will come back for that. Let's uh, continue looking around in here. Oh, that's weird. I one-shotted that one with a... It wasn't like a crit. And it still one-shotted him. Huh. Now, I did mine all the ores out of here. But I'm just going to go around, maybe check to see if they, uh, show you guys I mind all the ores out of here and check to see if anything's might have respawned. Stuff's not supposed to respawn. I have not seen anything respawn yet, but still going to take a look. Whatever, bro. That all you got, chump? Yeah, I'm not seeing any more ores. Okay, so it's not respawning. I didn't think it was. 
But it was definitely worth a look since we were here anyway. Oh, look at that. We got an ore already. Wow, that's a little bit faster than I was imagining. But we are going to leave that alone. And what we'll do is we'll just take anything back we can. Uh, copper. Oh, almost. Um, oh, there we go. Just leaving 27 gold. No big deal. So I just asked the incredibly knowledgeable people in Discord about ore deposits and, like, deep ore deposits. Um, apparently sulfur, there, there are sulfur ore deposits out there, which are fantastic. So that means I can keep making ammo because I do want to do guns. I'm going to do shotguns. And then I'm going to need the ammo. I'm going to need the gunpowder for the ammo. Gunpowder takes sulfur. That's going to be the big problem. I'm going to turn this off because it's looking pretty good now. And I'm going to take this meat and put it up here in a drying rack. I'm going to take the other meat for the... Bi oh! Biofuel container. Oh, okay. So, you know what? Why don't we go get the biofuel container right now and just see what we got going on out here. I want it to wait like a full day. But the thing is, I've got meat that's spoiling. And if I could turn the meat into biofuel, I mean, it doesn't save a ton of wood, but hey, man, every piece of wood saved is, you know, a piece of wood saved. That's, um, that's facts. Write that down, guys. Hope you brought your pen. Watch out, deer. Excuse me. Coming through. Now, am I going to fight the worms every time I come in here? That, that is a little annoying, but eh, it's fine. It's fine. Old wormies. Come on, worms. Three, two, one, zero. Okay, I guess they haven't respawned yet. And there we go. So I'm going to want another biofuel can. Wow, four, 15? I wasn't even gone that long. That's not bad. I would say that's definitely worth it. A little bit of meat and some sticks. And I get iron out of it. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm going to have to keep a lookout for more of these deposits around the world. Uh, and I'm going to want another biofuel can. Let's go home and make another biofuel can. Because I, was, I wasn't I was thinking, like, I don't want to take the biofuel can out and then bring it home. Fill it and then bring it back. Because all the time it takes me to bring it out, bring it back and fill it and all that stuff is time that, you know, the thing's not running. I'm going to have to make more of those too. What would be the next deposit? Would, guys, let me know in the comments. Platinum. Probably platinum. Like, okay, so here... Here's the deal. Not all ores are worthy of those resources at the moment. So what ones do you think are worthy right now? Definitely platinum. Copper? Um, coal? I don't know. I really don't. All right, so we're going to need another... Uh, it's like 25 iron for one of these things, by the way. They are really, really expensive. But I think it's worth it. And you know what? Hey, 25 iron, it's making its own iron. Because of the, you know, the setup I've got. So, put that in there. Put that in there. And, awesome. I've got the second container here filling up. It's not completely full, but I'm going to let it fill up while I go and check on this thing one more time. I'm pretty excited, man. This, um, yeah. This deep, this deep ore mining drill is just freaking dope. Oh, I love it. So cool. I'm going to set up as many as I can. Uh, what's next episode going to be about? I'm not really sure. I'm going to kind of keep it up in the air. I, I do have to ask around and find out what I want to do with my talents. Um, tech tree. I mean, well, I may be level 30 next episode, so. But we'll just kind of have to see. Actually, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I know what next episode's going to be about. But I'm not going to tell you because it's going to be a surprise. You guys love surprises, don't you? You coming out? Yeah, you are. All right, anybody else? Anybody else coming out? Yes, no, maybe so? Okay, one second. All right, seem okay. All right, so we got another 10. Yeah, it's not too bad. So probably about 25 for a quarter, maybe? Probably get a little bit more than 25 for a quarter. Right now we're around 25 total. Well, 24 total. Yeah, maybe about 25 for a quarter. So a full thing of biofuel will be about... Uh, a hundred. I can live with that. I mean, it's not OP, but it's it's pretty freaking good. That is awesome. Alright, guys. I think I'm going to call this one here, though. Uh, if you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.